Okay, this is take two on 11 and 20 of 2019. Hello, everyone, to take two of Fluzen. Wait and see if everybody comes in. Maybe a Fluzen. Wait and see if everybody comes in. Maybe. There's Jeannie. Hello, Jeannie. How are you tonight, hon? I think I lost everybody. Oh, there's Andrea back. <laughs> this is what I was saying that I usually try to just restart if it's not acting right. Hey, lady, how are you? Cool Crafty Creations. Susan. Movie Buff Babe. Cool. Cool. I bet we lost Tracy because she was going to bed. Hey, there's Enid. How are you tonight? Oh, good. Does seem better. Seems better on my end, too. Yeah, I've been busy. Uh, if it's the one about the... Um, the looms I, I need to go to town yeah I need to go to town and look at them and I'm not sure where they are at the moment so I don't want to say anything until I do if that's okay I'll, I'll get back to you I promise okay Andrea was asking about the calf and I guess y'all didn't hear it any of that earlier Still buffering? Hi, Teresa. Okay. We don't know what it is yet. See, the last one was born on the 2nd of... Hey, Sandra, come on in. The last calf was born, the brown one was born on the 2nd of November and just happened to be out in the field watching it and taking the pictures of it and stuff and saw her go potty and she went, you know, if they pee out the back, it's a girl. If they pee down the, underneath them, it's a boy. This one is a black calf with a big white heart right here on the forehead. But we don't know what it is yet. Haven't seen it pee. We have to wait. Sure hoping for a boy though. We're wanting a bull calf. Oh, he's adorable. I haven't been close to him yet. Um, hubby saw him yesterday and she was hiding him. This is what I was trying to tell y'all earlier. She was hiding him because we went out into the field where all they were hanging out and there was no calf with her. We're like, where is it? What happened to it? Because he saw it up by the water when they were getting a drink. So it's like, he says, I know it was there. I'm like, sure. <laughs> so he went back out this morning. There it was. So we think she was, it, 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 we think it was just a little bit small and mama decided it didn't need to go walking all the way across the field. So she hid it out into the, um, one of the places, which is like a, a grove. There could be some coyotes in there. I'm sure there is. 
We have coyotes out here a lot. And we have hogs. But we had hunters this last weekend too. So they shot one hog. And I don't, I think they got one buck. <laughs> Did you learn something, Wendy? You are welcome. <laughs> There's probably other ways, but I'm not learned on that. Oh, and they're bad in Texas. I'm sure they're bad in other places too, but they're really, really bad. Especially in this West Texas area. The feral pigs, evidently they got turned loose out here. So, like, two generations ago or something like that and they've been fighting them ever since and they have um there's one guy here who's made a business out of shooting them he brings them in all the time people in all the time to shoot pigs yes they are intelligent that's the problem those coyotes they are stealthy They pay for the experience. Hey, you are? You're, oh, and you're back too. Cool. Cool Crafty Creations is back. And I have forgotten your first name, hun. they They're getting brave. I, that's what everybody keeps saying, that the coyotes are braver. Yeah, like a wild boar. Hello, Evie. How are you? So good to see you. N no, they pay for the experience because they go up in a helicopter. I didn't say that. It's a helicopter ride. And they get to shoot from the helicopter. It's like a whole thing. Yes, you made a lot. Ooh, ooh. And guess what? I got my hobium. Do y'all want to see it? Yes, the helicopter hunting. I believe that there's a... There is a organization that if the pigs are shot in a certain way that they will take them to be butchered and then they feed them at some um, you know the hog meat they use the hog meat like in a food you know like the shelter or something okay Wendy Boy, you were right in the middle of it, too, then, weren't you? Hey, Nona May is here. Watch out. Okay. Hobium. Is that a link to the helicopter flights? Okay, let me get... Oh. Let's see it. I'm so excited. Now, y'all, I already opened this. Hi, Brenda. Come on in. How are you tonight? I opened all of this and kind of sat it out and opened it where I could be easier for me to do this. Um, so I'm sorry I'm not doing the whole unboxing thing. It's hard with the earphones and all that good stuff, too. Yeah. Susanna's back. Hello. The state paying hunters a bounty to whack feral pigs. Is that in Texas or is that just um, general? Yes. Yes. I knew that. They're really, really bad. If they don't take out 60% of the feral pigs a year, the population will triple. And they, they demolish people's land okay we're going on the yarn so I got one bag and it's the fox which I was really glad to get the fox I really like him 
and it says all you knit is love thank you Teresa isn't it adorable I haven't been close to it yet okay so the first thing on here are I got two of these these are the wooden teethers there's four in each bag they were a dollar six per bag oh Missouri too Oh, because you to protect the land to do something to protect the land yeah so that means I've got eight these are to make um, you know for the craft show I want to make deals to put on the teeter and then I got two that are just going to be for my grandson This one is an elephant. And it has see it has the holes here to attach. And the giraffe, of course. Had to have the giraffe. And those I may not see all your comments, guys, because I'm looking at this, so bear with me. Those were the elephant was two ninety seven and the giraffe was two yeah, that no that they were both two ninety seven. And then I got the rattles. And there's two in there. Plastic rattles, and they were two 264 then I got my stickers this was the freebie was the everybody's been showing these they're a little butterfly purple butterfly and they've got I don't know if y'all can see they've got holes there's four holes on the edges and you I guess you sew these onto things And the pom pom maker, and then these are the clips for the the binkies, the binky clip. So there's four of those. pacifier clip they were a dollar 32 for two of them hello HD and main designs is here so that's the little stuff guys and then I ordered these I hope you all can see that where it's got holes so this is the bottom and this is the top and the top already has the handles on it and so you do your stitch work in between and then attach it sorry about that Teresa So I got uh, this brown, or kind of a, what they call this color? They call it mink gray. So like a, a, a gray, a black, and a brown. I got three of them.
And those. Yes, purses. They were $8.56 each. So I figure if I do something really nice in on that, I should be able to sell those pretty good. Should be pretty good. These are nice handles. You can see that leather. They're really nice. And they're put on with brads here that are pretty, pretty sturdy. And they've got brads on the bottom. Here. It's always nice when the purse has that too. Really? Dina gave Cheryl. Dina. Which, who, which one is Dina? I know which one Cheryl is. Okay, and then I got, now I'm going to have to lean down into my box here. These, this is all from Hobium. All of the stuff is from Hobium. It's my, my Hobium order, but that's why I opened it because there's a lot here. So the next thing is the Jean Art Crazy. Jean's Crazy. By Yarn Art. And I got one, two, three, four, five of those. Dina homespun. I'm gonna have to let me write that down. I'm taking notes here, guys. I'm not taking names because we're gonna do it different. <gasps> Marianne, hey, I've been wondering about you, hun. How you doing? Tina is called homespun. Are you talking about homespun house? Yeah, Cheryl, Cheryl Hooks, Cheryl Bolts, Cheryl Bolts. Sorry. <laughs> well, all right. So these are 55% cotton and 45% P-A-C. What do y'all think that is? Very soft. Very much like the... Uh, it feels like the mandala ombre. The... Um, you know what I'm talking about? You like the orange one? So these are a... But these are a sport weight. Machine wash, dry flat, but don't leach. These are 50 gram balls, 174 yards. Hi, Donna. I hope I didn't miss anybody coming in. Hello, hello to everybody. Okay, Teresa. So, they don't really have names on these. They just have the numbers. But they're, this one's like a, like you said, it's like, a, like an orangey creamsicle kind of look. I'm good. Much better. I was pretty sore for a couple days. Boy, the chiropractor helped. And I got a massage. And this one is blue. Blues and browns and this one is browns kind of 
kind of like ice cream when it melts. And this one is kind of a vintagey color. Dina's Homespun Fun. Okay, cool. And this one is all pinks and a little bit of purples. Baked potato. Mmm. I know, Donna. Keeps me going. The chiropractor keeps me going. Now, if y'all are wondering, my podcast is, is uploading right now. I'll tell you why that was Okay. Dina's homespun fun. I got to write that down. Hold on. These are notes for me for later. Yes, the last Hobium haul. And only. This is my first one. You've Okay, Nona May. If you've never had a massage, I would I would encourage you to look for somebody who does myofacial massage because what that does is they it helps to align the body with massage only way to get a massage I'm telling you you like persimmons Suzanne did you put that um, do you put any sugar you've got to put some sugar because they're that's a persimmon. Oh, Miguel. Another migraine. Are you feeling better otherwise? Everything else is better? You're breathing better and everything? I'm looking, guys. I'm I'm looking. Oh. Wow. So that one was very uh Hi Mimi. <laughs> Bronchitis is better. The barometric pressure and the weather triggers the migraines. Yeah, I had one before I went to the chiropractor and it took until the middle of the next day. The middle of yesterday because I went Monday evening for it to, to let up. It was better when I got through because I got an adjustment and a massage, but it was still not completely gone. <laughs> Sandra's working on a blanket with this color persimmon. Okay, go grab you some tea. Okay, the next thing is the Gazal Baby XL. And this is wool. And they, they were $1.85 a piece. Now remember, they were going out, so they were everything was 40% off. So this is a 50 gram ball. It's the Gazal Knitting Club Baby XL. XL baby wool. Yes, I made it back, Julie. Thank you for coming. And I think Tina was on earlier. Did I? I hope I didn't step on her toes. And I waited because my hubby was um, he was doing something online, and we can't do everything at once. Yes, everybody say a, say a prayer for for uh, Miguel. Yeah, lots of water does help. So this one is 40% acrylic, 20% cashmere, and 40% merino. See if I can find a different color.
It's got a little halo on it. And this is XL because they consider this to be a worsted. And it's pretty close. It's a little bit light. It's real pretty stuff. Real pretty. Very squishy. It's got quite a squish factor. Isn't he adorable? Oh, I'm hoping it's he. You know how I am. When we get one, I call them all he until we get a he. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> we don't know yet, Miguel. We haven't seen him pee yet. So I got pink and white. And I think, I thought I got a couple others. I did. There's a red. There it is. Oh, if I'd have known how pretty this red is, I'd have got more. This is like a burgundy red. looking warm because the light shines down on it but it's a burgundy red there see that's some pretty stuff oh did I tell y'all how much those were what I paid for them I know now they say you can get this stuff on uh, Amazon these were all $1.85 a piece That's the three colors I got. Now, if you're going to look for any of it, I know they're gorgeous. That's some pretty stuff. Hobium. It's Hobium Yarns, Miguel. This is the order I... Okay, and let me tell you all, it took over 10 days to get here. It got stuck in customs. I ordered it like the 10th of November and I got a message that one of the items that they had they had to refund me and that was okay it was a, a pair of soles you know to go on the bottom you make a slipper and you you it had all the holes in it and it, they just didn't have my size when they went to fill the box. So they refunded me that. And that's the only thing that, that was different about my order. So I got that message. And then, next thing I know, they said they were going to get it out. It said that it shipped <laughs> like two days ago. But that was from Austin. Once it got. No, that was from. Yeah, that was from Austin two days ago. It wound up in Cincinnati, I think. Came in, it came into I didn't because I am I have a lot and I thought about it. I really thought about it. And then I was like, no, I have a lot. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, it took the scenic route big time. So it went into Liverpool, which is where it came into customs. Then it wound up in Cincinnati, Ohio. And then from there, it went to Austin. And from Austin to here. So it took two days to get from Austin. Now, Texas is a big state. It's eight hours to Austin. So, long way. Okay, now I got... Okay. Where am I at? The Gala. Gala Knitting Yarn. And I got three of these. And this stuff is different. Here's my three colors, y'all. 
Aren't those pretty together? Now that one looks black, but it's got a green cast to it. So like a really, really deep hunter. And you see that got 48% merino, 25% polyamide, and 27% polyacryl, which is an acrylic. So acrylic, nylon, and merino. 48% merino wool, 25% nylon, and 27% acrylic. It It's, it's like a, um, if you know what a single is, the way that it's spun, the twist on it it's like a single strand and it's this this one definitely shows the uh, Tweety look to it <laughs> and I don't think they had colors but brown dark green, brown, and cream. There's, I was trying to see, it's 100 grams. But this one's hard to read the stuff on it as far as how long that is. I don't know. I really don't because it says uh, 300 MTs and 100 grams. Whatever an MT is. But they're they're nice. Hello, Helen. How are you? I'm going through my Hobium order. I like to quit keep repeating when as people are coming in and out. It has started. The spin ride has started. I wondered if anybody had started their uh, Black Fridays. Okay, so those Gazals were two sixty four each. Now, I got the rock and roll yarn. Have y'all seen some of the hauls on that? Hey, Quilty Crocheter. Oh, you're so nice, Helen. I appreciate it because y'all I wasn't going to do this with the YouTube rules and all the things that are going on but my husband he has talked me down and straightened me out as he always does so I got singles of the Gazal rock and roll and I think Ice Yarn has um, something similar. Uh, uh, oh my goodness. Cra uh, Crafty Crochet Grandma. I think she showed some from Ice. Yes, it's just like what uh, Crystal from Bag O'Day talked about that. She said, you have to call them. So, these are the, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it got nine of the Gazal Rock and Roll at a dollar seventy each. Well, I'll I can get into it, but it's it's crazy. There's a blue and gold, which is this one. These are going to be hard to see because they're super shiny. But the strand is gold, and then it has a blue cast. And then there's... The petrol blue, 
probably this one. And then there's pinkish orange. I don't see that one, so we'll go with that. The only thing that's got a pink and then it's got a black on it. Brown. This is Claret. Hello, Blue Dolphin. How are you, Roxana? That's the Claret. It's all shiny with a with like a black or other color uh, on it. I'll pick one here in a minute and try and show you a little closer, and then purple. I don't know, y'all. It's really hard to tell these colors. This one's gray, blue. I'll try to remember to get you a picture on uh, Facebook. That's a little bit easier to see. Hey, how are you, Lila? I really think the open work shawls was what I had in mind. What do you think? Oh, sorry, Enid. Teal is my favorite color. My favorite color is actually cerulean blue. Like the crayon. And this is actually a turquoise. It looks blue, but it's a turquoise. So that's what I had in mind for these. And several of them would go together. You know, like they have the blue cast or they have the black cast or coppery or whatever. These are really soft. I didn't say what they are. They're 70% polyamide, 9% merino, and 21% acrylic. Lila, this is my Hobium haul. And Hobium went out of business this last week, and they had everything at 40% off. And I had never ordered from them before. They are from Turkey. Okay, where am I at? And I got one of these Oren Beyer Alumina Variegated Yarns. Yes. Tiny. This is a thread. I did not know this was a thread. This was $1.65. Yeah, squint my eyes. <laughs> Almina 8-4. This is the Madame Trico. 100% cotton. It's, it's smaller than sock yarn. This is crochet thread. Um... It's just a, it's a cotton thread. It would be like a number, because I looked at them, maybe a 10, maybe more like an 8. Have you all seen that Artiste thread at 
Hobby Lobby. And Julie, you're not going to believe what I did. I forgot. I went to Hobby Lobby and I forgot. I forgot. I, I took it with me and I forgot. But I got 30% off all my yarn. Hundred and eighty five yards. No colorway listed, just variegated. And it's it's a shiny one. So I don't know what I'll do with that one. It would be something you would make a, a doily with. I know. I won that for <laughs> Y'all are all laughing at me now, I know, aren't you? Oh. You know why I couldn't find the pink one? <laughs> it's the pink one. <laughs> okay, yarn art. And I also got... Oh! The struggle is real, y'all. I know. I was thinking about Tina. I hope she's not mad at me. I starting my starting my show. But I was running late. This is the yarn art. It's called Violet. This is also crochet thread. And this one would be more like a number 10. This one is a blue, but it's a teal. And this one is a, you can see that's a cranberry. Yeah, it's blowing out. You like all those too. I know Marianne likes crochet thread. These are 308 yards. They are the mercerized cotton. So I've got a few that I can do some things with. Not sure yet where I'm going to start with that, but I'd like to because I have several really. Yeah, those King's cotton cakes, but there there's what, like three, four or five strands in there. OK, the Gazal exclusive. Two of the blues and two of the creams. I wanted to try a little bit of everything because with them going out of business, you know, this is the Gazal exclusive. And what I was going to say about looking these up, I hope not. I was going to go into hers, but I couldn't go into hers because I was updating my computer. I'll explain it all to her. I'll talk to her later. But this is a cream and a blue. These were two ninety. Oh, that violet yarn. These were a dollar eighty-five each, and these were two ninety-seven each. And they are 10% mohair, 40% merino, and 50% silk. Then these are lace weight. And Suzanne, what do we do with lace weight? Something with lace, she says. <laughs> I'm not dying when she said that. Uh, no, two, they, no, they're two ninety seven each. When you looked them up, where did you see a dollar ninety five? Susanna, sorry, <laughs> I'm a little. I do that. I do that sometimes. Where you were looking at um, on Amazon.
Yeah, Susanna said that to me one night. I had something else. I was like, this is a lace weight. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. And she says, yeah, Loopy, that's me. Well, it's not me. She has a channel too, but. <laughs> so. Those are pretty. But these, I think, I had decided these would be held with something else. Like you do mohair. What's next? La Mia Marino. Now my thought on getting the La Mia Marino was to have some solid colors in a Merino that I could mix with the variegateds that I have. Hi, Shawl. That's a great idea, Mimi. Where am I stuck at? I didn't turn y'all off, did I? Now, these were... I paid... What I pay for them? Well, poo. Looking, I'm a looking. I wrote it all down, but didn't write the price. Oh, don't, don't know. You don't know. You say you don't know, right? So I got a cream. And then something just a little bit deeper, a deeper color cream. And a tan. Weaving in ends. Got to be done. And a black. Here's a red, and these are not shiny. And then this one is more of a fuchsia. And a salmon orangey color, coral. And there's two blues, like a very baby, baby blue, and another sky blue and a teal blue and this is the it's the la mia merino she's binding off by what did you say i did i miss what you were making lila lila remember she's the one that i met at the craft show Oh, okay. All variations of that. Making the pie shawl. I bet that's beautiful. So this is 100% merino wool. And it would be a number one. Maybe sport. I guess it could be a sport. Number two. Hundred and sixty already. I don't. I don't guess I heard her number on Friday. I don't. I don't think I heard it. A cowl scarf. Cool. I love binding off. Yes. Okay. And then they had gift sets.
So it came with a bow on it in the box. Hundred percent sure on the number. Okay, cool. One hundred and sixty. Yeah, she's been working on them. Has she been working on them all year? So this was a gift set. However, that's not what I got it for. I got it because I wanted the cotton. And this is the. It came with um, little stitch markers. They look like hearts. And they have a, these are really neat. You can hook that into the little hole. How handy is that? Those are pretty cool. And a hook. This is a Lamia handmade crochet hook in white wood. It's a 2.5 millimeter. Sorry, you all can't see that. It's pretty light. And it's a hundred percent cotton and it's not the mercerized it's this this one is the one that's called cottony it was 21.79 for the kit the cotton came down that came down to a dollar 45 a piece 50 gram balls 130 yards that's why I got it because that's a lot of very 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 nice cotton for baby stuff and this is not you know um, I know it's pink white red but I just got the one I could get it's gorgeous stuff and it would make something great for me too because there's enough here I figured I could do a garment with. Yeah. For $21.79. Yeah. And I know, guys, I know this is a lot of stuff, but you're only going to get to order from them one time. What do you do? Y'all still with me? <laughs> We're getting there. Yeah, that's what you do. You spend all your money. <laughs> okay. The Lamia Bamboo, I got two, I did, I, I think I did. This is the Lamia Bamboo, and I got two of them. And when I won that from you, Julie, I was like, oh my gosh. That's going to go really, really good. When I when I opened that, I was like, that's going to go really, really well with this bamboo that I had ordered. I knew that I had ordered it. I do too. I am just loving. There's two or three things in here that's bamboo. So this is about the same size as that cottony. Oh, goodness. Okay, I'm going to go crystal on y'all. That is heaven. 
Has she Does she do a hobia? I don't think I saw hers. She's having a retreat. Did you know that, Susanna? Nona Stitching Lounge. lounge um, she's having a retreat in Canada. Or it, I, I can't remember if she's in Canada or she's right on the border. Y'all help me. I can't remember the whole name of her channel. I know. Sometime in April? Okay. It's not till April. And it's in Canada. Oh, it's it's luscious, isn't it? Oh my gosh, this is luscious. This is a hundred percent bamboo. hundred and twenty five yards each. These were a dollar fifty each. Rosie, that's it. Rosie M. There it is. Uh, Jeannie put it on there. Nona Stitching Lounge with Rosie M. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where in Canada she is too. If you go to her channel, maybe she'll talk. Hey, Freaky Geeks here. How are you? Woohoo. I'm doing my Hobium order. <laughs> she's probably at home. Yeah, she's probably at home. <laughs> oh, I love you, Freaky Geek. I do. <laughs> I think my cheeks would be permanently up here if we were together. <laughs> April 17th through the 19th, Ramada Inn on the Canada side near Niagara Falls, Susanna. Oh. Stop it. Put it away. And that color, beige. You don't talk that much offline? Okay. <laughs> okay. Now here is one I don't normally get. But my thought was other people are going to like it. See, I wondered about that. This one is Madame Tricot super baby in the color mustard Susanna you have got to back me up when Louise does not believe that I bought mustard yarn <laughs> okay you have to back me up you have to tell her go watch that video because she's not going to believe it our friend Louise Patterson loves mustard yellow. She's just going to go, what? You bought what? <laughs> I didn't buy one. I bought five. Five. That looks really light, y'all. It's not. I'm going to take pictures of all this and put it on my Facebook page. On the uh, Fiber Bluesy Podcast Group page. So this is 100 grams, 393 yards, or 360 meters. Beat you to it. <laughs> 360 meters, 100% acrylic. Absolutely squish factor is crazy nice on this one
this is great. And I've, I saw Crystal go over this too. This is Super Baby. Now remember, some of these you can go. Now I was going to tell you that. If you want some of these um, and you want to get them from Amazon, you've got to type in the specific yarn. You cannot type in Hobium because it doesn't come up when you type Hobium. I got five skeins. I got one pack. And these were $6.84 a pack, which made them $1.37 each. So I have I have enough to do something really great with that. Now, this is not my color. I can't wear this color. It just doesn't look nice on me. Even with my gray hair has changed things a little bit. But this is this one is really pretty. It's really pretty. It's looking kind of goldish there, but it is a really pretty mustard. Of the yellows and oranges, I like the mustard color. Now I got four of the Lamia Diamond. Well, this was this is ordered from Turkey. This is Hobium, which went out of business, Freaky Geek. And they were this is Turkish. Most of this was their brand. I tried to get their brand uh, so I could try the different ones and see how I um, just you know, because I was never going to be able to get them again. Especially at this price, which was 40% off. Yeah, me too, Lila. See, I just can't do the yellow. That's the one color I just really can't. I can mix a lot of other colors in now with with going as gray as I am. But not, uh, not yellow. Mm, I dropped something. So I got a silver... And a light baby blue, kind of a sky, not sky blue, light baby blue. And then a light mint. And a regular mint. And this is mint. This is not turquoise. This is mint. I know. I'm hoping that they can. Because I, know, I don't know that they're going to be able to do their own brands like this but hopefully they're still producing yarns for everybody else and can keep themselves going that's kind of where my thought process was about that so three in each pack and the diamond yarns were 532 a pack so a dollar 77 per skein <laughs> Did I sound a little deep? Soft and shiny Lamia Premium Low Pilling Diamond Yarn. 70% acrylic and 30% microfiber. It has a nice sheen on it. No, they're not. That's what I'm saying. There's no bargains to be had right now. But I think if we wait it out. Oh, you're still here, Miguel. How you doing, hun? So, can you see that where it shines off of it? That's because it's got a little bit of a sheen to it. It looks like cotton. It's not. And it doesn't feel like cotton. It It's kind of like that ZZ twist. A luster. I like that. It's got a luster. It's lustrous. Mm -hmm. 210 meters or 229 yards. It's 100 grams, 3.5 ounces. So a standard skein. Although 
you know, they're shorter than they always used to be. I'm petting the yarn. I waited for y'all. I opened it, but I didn't pet it. So, I got some great colors. Uh, and the yardage being that there's I could do a separate product project with each bag or I could mix them up yes yards are longer than meters Then I have this five pack. You're welcome. I read it on the band. This one is the Madame Tricot Star Knitting Petrol Green. This is a gorgeous green. This is really pretty green. Wait till you see what it looks like after I post pictures. It's a it's a cool green. <laughs> you want that? <laughs> so this one is their star, Madame Tricot. Color is 105. Produced by Dictus D I K T A S. In Istanbul. Hundred percent acrylic. But this has got to be premium acrylic because these are so nice. These feel really good. These are all, this is worsted weight. So was that other one. They're about the same size. But that other one was a um, Euro Baby. But this one is uh, regular. So that, but that mustard doesn't look like a baby yarn, you know. It looks blue, it's not. You'll be shocked when you see pictures. Nope. I don't know what to tell you. Just have to wait and see the pictures. Left your computer and not said, oh, that's all right. So, Another sweaters quantity, I say. And I have two more. And I'm going to need some help figuring out what to do with this. I'm really thinking this is going to have to be held. Actually, there are some great cardigans in something like this. Yes, teal is between green and blue, pretty firmly right between it, but there's so many different shades. <laughs> yes. All right, so y'all help me. This is the Rapido. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. Just a sec. Hold on. Rapido, Rapido, Rapido after me. It was $8.30 for the pack, which and there are five, which makes them $1.66 each. The color is gray, number is $6.79. Okay, $8.33.
um, help me figure out what I'm going to do with it. Well, this is a different bag. Miss Penny of Penny Ann's Creations would love that. These are heavy, too. Um, 100 grams, 350 meters, 382.76 yards. Pretty exact. It's 100% microfiber acrylic. You can help me get more confused. It wouldn't take much. It doesn't have a real soft factor. It's a real um, silky factor. It's got a luster. Another one with a luster. See the size of that? That's, I know that this is probably supposed to be a sport weight, but it's a pretty light too. It's right in between a one and a two. So with the yardage, 382, I figured some sort of a garment. And that silver is just so pretty. Matches me. Dollar thirty-seven a piece is pretty good. No, dollar sixty-six. Hmm. That's a different one, isn't it? Because it's not cotton and it's not. It's a microfiber. Huh. Last one. This is the Lauren. natural cotton in a purple there's five for 5.94 or a dollar 19 each doesn't look that small well this one looks more like a dk weight it's it's more of a one yeah see and I've seen a whole bunch of those, and I, I keep going back and forth to those patterns. And I'm terrible at getting started on making, uh, yeah, micro, micro, it's microfiber. Pretty flat. Doesn't have the squish factor. See, it's really flat. It's just cotton but it's uh, several strands together like a bunch of threads twisted together Purple is Donna's favorite color. Note to self. I have used thread, but it's been a long time. And I didn't do much. I am not proficient in thread. This is 100 grams, 3.5 ounces. This is a lightweight three, I would say, yeah. Um... 227 meters or 248 yards. It's 85% cotton and 15% polyester. <laughs> she got lost. Yeah. It's a very deep purple grape with a it looks really great right there, but it's almost, um, yeah, it's a whiny color. Yeah, see, that's the kind of thing that people don't like to do um, crochet with, but I, uh, but I might knit with it. It wouldn't be too bad knitted. 
248 yards why well, I only got one and so that's another garment more yarn to work with <laughs> that's my haul y'all natural cotton yeah practice makes us frog that's for sure <laughs>